Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Game Night. We are going to be playing um, Stygian Society. So, um, we'll see how this goes and how far up will we get. <clears throat> so, uh, so, this room here it's plus two peril if we get four red. Four yellow or three black plus two peril. And then the enemies will attack. The wizard's eye is one of them. So uh, damage is inflicted up to that is reduced by one for every monster in the front row of it. So, <clears throat> and then the Titan, it says, deals one wound to the party plus one more wound for each Titan on the floor. Then heal each Titan on the floor one wound. And then we got the Poltergeist, and that deals three wounds to the party for each Poltergeist on the floor. The active player is cursed. So, that's what we have to deal with. <clears throat> And I'm playing with the spellcaster, spell sling, and the doctor. Uh, and we have a couple of special abilities that we can use. Um, the doctor can exhaust a card for a melee attack. Choose either target in either rank. You drop three blue and one wild. You deal one wound to your target plus one extra wound for every blue you spend from the field. If this kills your target, heal your party of one wound. Then immediately refresh this ability. Uh, <clears throat> and then we have Delicate Touch. You may use this ability before taking an action to add plus one blue and one green to the field. Or you may use this ability before opening a chest to reduce the peril by one. So those are the Doctor's abilities. And the spell, we have Seeking Blade. It's a melee attack. Choose a target in either rank. Drop two blue into any color you want. Deal one wound to your target. Plus one extra wound for every blue you spend from the field. If you spend two wild from the field as well, then immediately refresh this ability. So it's two clear ones. Um, and then Tempting Power. Each time a black cube falls into the crypt, place two status tokens on this card, and deal two wounds to the party that cannot be reduced. You may spend status tokens on this card as though there were the white ones in the field. So it's kind of good and kind of bad, but um, and it's a passive ability. So it's, it doesn't get exhausted, it's constant. So, alright. So we're going to have the Spell Slinger go first. So we got to do one red, one yellow, and one black. Drop Peril there. And then we need to drop two clear. Making sure I got two clear ones, not two yellow. That's not yellow. That's yellow. Two clear and I'll do a blue assist. That way the other character can attack will go attack. Wow, oops. Came out of that pretty good. <laughs> All right. Holy cow, did not expect them to fly up like that. White ones are good. Blue ones are good. And the bad ones go over there. Okay, and we didn't get enough to do that, which is fine. 
Okay, so she, the doctor is going to do an normal attack, so it's going to drop one blue and one wild one in. So we'll do one blue. And then we drop yellow, red, and a black. We should be able to. Okay. That's two. You gotta do the bad stuff first. Okay, uh, so we got a blue and a red, so our luck went up by two. So we have two, three. Uh, Titan went on attack. Um, we don't got enough to do that. Um, two, and, uh, yeah, we're okay. We don't have too many. Okay, so. We attacked the one on the front. So for each blue one, we pull from the field. Crypt will be caught as two. We'll actually do two damage. So we'll do two plus this one. So we'll do three. So three damage to the Titan. Got five hit points. That's almost dead. We got three red, which isn't enough to activate that. And we only have one black out there right now, so we're good. <clears throat> so the doctor's attack went well. Uh, so magic attack. So let's see. Yep, she's gonna do her magic attack. So she got three clear this time. Um, and then we got one red, one black, and one yellow. That's not bad. Okay, not great, but not bad. And so that's two four. So two peril. And then deal one wound to the party, plus one wound for each Titan. So that's going to be three damage. We're going to get three damage. Okay. And that's the worst of it. So we got to spend these. Okay. The good news is. One, two, three, four. We'll do one damage to your target, and then in that rank, increase this damage by one wound for every additional one you spend. So we're going to spend one more. That will kill the first Titan. So that's 
So we'll get rid of that. Not bad. <clears throat> we still got two there that can be. So then we got uh, We're doing all right. And, and we got two black. So the wizard is going to go. It says increase the peril by one for each wizard eye on the floor. We got two wizard eyes. And now we're at peril four. So if the poltergeist remains, we now have to add one red, one yellow, and one additional black to the field at the end of the turn. So to the field. Spell Slinger went. Uh, let's see, we don't want to heal. I guess we'll just attack. Two blue. And then we have the wild here, so. We could use those. So that's two. And then we gotta get one red, one yellow. And one black. To there. That's a blue. That's clear. There's black. That's a black. Red. Three red. Five. Okay, so we got. So. Both the guys is going to go One, two, three, four, as well as to peril. Um, so the poltergeist is going to hurt the doctor by three wounds to us. And cursed to the doctor. The doctor is now cursed. So we have to add a red. Add an extra red one when we drop. Okay, so that's with that. And it takes a blue one to get rid of that. So why don't we send one of these wild to get rid of that so we can get rid of the cursed effect. And then we need deal one wound to the target for each blue I spend. So one, two, three, four. So I'll do four damage to the Titan. And the peril will go up, I believe. Increase the peril by one for each wizard eye on the board. There's two. So we're at eight. Peril. Does place 
two yellow, uh, two blue yellow on this sheet until the end of the floor as you start to get outmaneuvered. So two blue up. So we'll do two blue. And we'll do a green. So two blue and a green. Okay. Um, so there's that. Um, boop, 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 boop. So now Spell Singers gets to go. Oh, and we got to discard the black. Okay. So we're going to drop two clear ones down. Two clear and another clear. We'll do three clear. Then we gotta do one red. <coughs> oh, we only did that one clear. Sorry, that's all I got next. Uh, but I'm gonna need one red, one black. That ain't Deal one wound to the player plus one more wound for each one, so it's two. So I can take two bells and it's going to heal one. And then the hero is getting weakened this time. Great. Uh, weakened. And then we got a couple of cubes up in here. So now I'm going to just do a lot of damage. So let's get this out of the way. So two, three, four. Oh, so we're going we're gonna to kill the second one. <sighs> Thank gosh we got that done. And then the two black. We already did. So. Okay, we need to kill the last one. You know. Last Titan, you know, we can get the, then we can go to the next one. That's ten do. Not to 12. Okay. You don't need to heal. Okay, we're going to do an attack. Um, Dacker's going to do an attack. So it's one blue. One white, red, yellow, black. And then um, you may use this ability before taking an action to add two blue to the field, which I'm going to do. There. I need to do some damage. 
Oh, yes, we did. Indeed. So. Oh, shoot. Okay, so two. So that's good. So <clears throat> that was one wound to each target. So that's two, three, four, five. Kill that. Now we got <clears throat> four yellow. So Poltergeist is going to deal three wounds to the group. One, two, three wounds to the group. And the active player is cursed. So the doctor is going to get cursed. Not bad. Alrighty. So Poker Days has how many hit points? Three. So you have your melee. <clears throat> okay, so we're just going to do a straight up standard attack. We do have blue hair. Mm. <sighs> okay. Cool. All right, so we're going to do one, two, three. And kill the poltergeist. <sighs> no, we don't have a poltergeist. Nice, nice, nice. Now all we got is the. So we've gotten a total of. Two, four, six, nine experience. So where do we get? Oh, we actually leveled up. <laughs> so I'll wait until after the battle to do anything. <clears throat> so now we're at ten, and that's ten to twelve. So now we just gotta get these two. The good thing is they only got one hit point each, so they're going to be really easy to take out. Okay. So we do have the stuff that we need to take care of. Okay, so now... One red, one yellow, one black. Those can do magic. So he's going to do Spell Slinger here, so, so every enemy in the rank and target. So this will be able to kill them too, if I get it. So um, we drop two whites and another white. Mm. And that's exactly what we needed. So two, three, four. We'll do one wound to this and one wound to that. So we have officially killed that. And we don't have to worry about the bad stuff. So we already cleared the room. Thank gosh. These are going to uh, stay there, I think. Do we clear the field? That's what I got to find out.
I believe you did. I got the check. Open cubes. The requirement used to open any or all chests listed on the current room card. After play to open or ban all the other chests, move zero, walk from the floor, start the floor, see starting floor. Okay. Clear the field and the crypt. Okay, that's what I thought. And then we gotta decide. Our peril is at ten. I'll risk it. Nope, our peril's not thirteen. All right, so we open we successfully open up a chest. Heal a party of any combination of six wounds and or status or tokens. And then discard this. Cool. So let's have to this card. Okay. Cool. That'll come. That'll definitely be. Six moves. Five, six. So that we get status out of these. We finish the first floor. Peril resets back to zero. And that will conclude this video for today. We will go to the second floor in the next video, which will be uploaded as soon as possible. So thanks for watching. Didn't think we were going to get through the first floor, so it was pretty nasty. But it's only going to get worse <laughs> on the second floor, so.